What's up, friends? PDZ here. I'm um, just showing you uh, stuff that I do with my Proton. Or ZVP here, showing you guys the stuff that I do with my Z. I'm so used to playing Protons. Uh, so, at the start, you'll notice my drones are a little delayed. Uh, basically, I was Alt Tab, Tab back in, and it was not letting me uh, push any hotkeys. So, I was like, what the heck, what the heck, what the heck, what the heck. Gosh, you know, I was looking at a video to my side. Uh, listening to that, and then I just, you know, I couldn't do it, so I was like, what the heck, what the heck, and uh, I figured it out, so that went off really late, because normally what I like to do is uh, 15 pull, 15 hatch, get 3 zerglings, and then attack, and then just drone up behind it, because <clears throat> they're my scouters, and they're my aggression, and if it looks like he's being greedy, then I just keep sending zerglings in. <clears throat> And the reason why it works out is because I have to wait for the next Overlord. I have put an Extractor down and I make another Zergling, so I have four. But while that's going on, is my Overlord's being built, and that's basically that. So, uh, yeah, just kind of standard stuff right now. Spawning pool's down. Expand. If they're a little late, but I prefer to get there a little late because then they don't see it coming. The things like one base or something. So he sees that. <clears throat> he's seen the spawning pool. So he probably feels that he's safe to expand because, you know, I expand. So now he can expand. I don't know. Greedy people are greedy. <laughs> stupid, I think. I think it's just stupid how greedy people are right now. That is stupid. Uh, joining up. Zergling's coming out now. Because I, I screwed up, I went ahead and uh, made him late. That's basically what happened here. Uh. Yeah. So the Zerglings are going across. I do some attacking. The drone went home, I believe. Attacking his nexus. His nexus. Don't want. Don't really care to go in the main. The main. Don't care at all. <clears throat> drone. I'm just like focus the nexus. Don't care unless it's an attacking unit. Then then worry about it. But <clears throat> sentry shows up. Go kill it. Cancels the Nexus. He loses both. Sucks. Pulls the workers off. He has a Zealot in the mix somewhere. I think just, yeah, there it is. Just popped out. He lost the Shijo, uh, probes. Get the Roach Worm because I'm making him one base right now. So now he's getting all kinds of production. I go to the Lair because I plan to go Roach Hydra. I'm like, alright, so you're gonna one base all in, or you're gonna all in me now, right? I just one base me or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm expecting him to see all of his production. This, the whole point of this is to slow him down and to see what he's doing. So I try to get out with what I can. Four Zerglings, cool. He's still not expanding, so I'm not too worried about drone production right now. And I lose a few. I'm like, alright, crap, he's going to be attacking it now. So because of that, <clears throat> I make more units. Roach is popping out. Um, my layer is done. Injects are pretty good this game. I got a lot better at it because I played the campaign recently. So if you really want to get good at this game, I suggest you beat the campaign on Brutal and then go straight into playing Zerg. <laughs> and it's weird to say that, but it's because the, uh, what's it called? Spreading creep. It's also the same mechanic as injecting larva. Just kind of going back and doing your errands, I guess. But uh, because I had units and I was across the map, I was making drones. And now I'm falling back, <coughs> making units again. <coughs> so he's moving forward. I think he turns around to face me here and loses a lot of stuff. <coughs> Pulls back, gets out, canceled, tell the probe. So this guy's not bad. He's canceling things that he needs to cancel. He's doing what he has to do. He's trying to be greedy, but he can't. Uh, worrying about my injects. Still, um, putting pressure, just, you know, being outside his bane. Bane. Main. Find the drone, get lucky. See units, pull back. I don't have the army to face this. I don't know why I do. Or right, why I think I do. Droning up, because <clears throat> I still need income. I know that. I'm aware of that. And it looks like he doesn't have all of it here, but I end up losing a lot still. I'm like, well, shit, son. Run away. I had one Hydra there. If I had more, different fight. Da da da, overlords everywhere, which they shouldn't be at this point. <coughs> Still droning up, I'm like, oh crap, here he comes. <coughs> Need a little more time. 
he goes down to kill the third. There's a queen, few units dying for free. And I just decide to sacrifice it because I don't have the army yet. I need more army. And I decide, like, okay, if that dies, it's fine because as long as I kill some things off and trade armies, I'm fine. <clears throat> so he thinks he's winning right now. Which technically he is, but because he watches the meta, he knows don't attack. Basically. Do not attack. <clears throat> he probably could have killed me right there, but he doesn't because that's what the meta is. Never go for the throat. Pisses me off. <clears throat> Build a drone, building uh, units still, da, 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 da. no upgrades, I should be worrying about upgrades, I should be worrying about upgrades, I don't, I should. Uh, don't even focus that rock down because he might move up, which he happens to. So I see a lot of stalkers, and I know uh, Hydra's kill a shit of stalkers. Zealots run forward, my Hydra's move back, kill the Zealots, da 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 da. <clears throat> um, so he loses quite a bit, I lose barely anything, good trade. All my Zerglings died, but they're just Zerglings, you know. <clears throat> so I'm constantly sending scouts across the map. At least I think I am right now. Uh, scout units, I guess. Yep, just going for the third again. Uh, right here, he finds out how strong the hikers are, <clears throat> and why you need zealots still. Why you need everything still. You need to mix your armies, guys. Don't just mass units. Don't not mass the units. Because then I just I mass units and I win. Because <clears throat> I'm countering your stalkers with hydras and you don't have shit to do anything. If you had sentries, zealots, and uh, stalkers, he would have been in a better place. But he doesn't. So da da da. <clears throat> like I said, just constantly trying to send scouts across the map. Applying pressure by just being out there, worrying about my economy. I decided to go infestors for the vipers, so that when the colossi show up, I can just pull them in. I see the attack down there. Assuming he's going for the third. Um, <clears throat> worry about my econ. Worry about my hotkeys. Da da da. Just making my army fine. As you can see, I'm way ahead right now. Right, like most people would be like, "Oh, the freaking game's over," but generally it is. At the pro scene, <clears throat> but you never know. I could fuck up, you could fuck up, who knows? <clears throat> uh, so there's the infestors going down, I think. Uh, I think I should start throwing a spire down too. Just a thought. <clears throat> so, still a bunch of stalkers. Still a bunch of stalkers. Very bad. It works out for the defense. Because they're support units and he's def essentially supporting his base, I guess. <clears throat> so this is where just my attack commences and I just just fucking go for it, man. I have so much production right now, four bases. Uh, I think one of them doesn't even have a queen. Uh, he's saying stop lagging, telling him it's you. Uh, Roach Hydra at its finest. Uh, he does get claw side and he's um, right there. And then I see the storm going, so I'm like focus the buildings of the pylons before anything completes. And I guess it was Let's find out how close it was. <coughs> wasn't even started, okay. <coughs> Never mind. So, uh, basically, yeah. <coughs> I got him to say it twice. Okay. Anyways, yeah. So, that's basically it. He was, he was teching hard uh, to basically uh, counter my tech. But. If, even if he did counter my tech, I was ready. Because, like like I said, back at home, infestation pit. I This is just me sucking. I could have upgrades, and I could have a, I could have had a spire down, too. Like, I have the money for all of it, you know. So, the fact that he's throwing it down means he could have had it sooner, but at the same time, I could have had it sooner. You know, and if at any point he did cut back, I would have just pushed through and killed him. So, he needed to do what he did, or he was going to lose. And that's the difference. A lot of pros... Don't push through. They never go for the throat. I go for the throat. Over here, I'm like kicking the leg from under his feet while going for the throat. Pros, they just kick the leg from under the feet, then they leave. Kick the leg from under the feet, then they leave. Once the opponent is on crutches, they kick the crutch from under his feet instead of going for the throat. I go for the throat. I go for the throat. <clears throat> That's the variation difference. The very variable difference. Uh, like I said, this guy isn't bad. 
He's been farming this base for a while, uh, so his income is not shit, but he just lost his base, so now it's shit. My income is not shit. Uh, this base is no more money for me to take, so this one is just getting ready. Queen is on its way. Uh, as I said, the upgrades are all just kind of things that come with it. But basically, uh, this video is just, shh, not this video, but all of these videos are showing my aggression and the difference between gameplay of a pro and uh, a pro with aggression. I'm not a pro yet, but I'm going to get there once I play it for 12 hours a day. If I could pull in 500 uh, viewers on Twitch every day, I would be in the pro scene, guaranteed. I challenge you guys, challenge me. All of you are welcome to come and hang out. What I'm streaming anyway, <clears throat> which is every day for a long time. But anyways, <clears throat> I wonder what his upgrades were actually. Uh, <clears throat> okay, his upgrades are zero zero as well, so we're we're on even footing. Because as far as upgrades go, generally you are one one and they're one one, or it's two two and you're two two, and you know, and whatever. <clears throat> his control was there, his army control was there, uh, his units' choices were not. You need to variate your army, or variate? You need to vary your army. Your army needs to vary different from unit to unit, have mass quantities of different types, not just one. You know, the reason why I won this so hard is because I only had a stalker, so I just built nothing but road, or, uh, hydros. <clears throat> you need, I can't think of the word, substance? I don't, I don't know. But anyways, that's it. Call it bad all you want, but in truth, this guy is my level, and it was very one-sided. So, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, anyways, uh, comments, uh, questions, whatever, what have you, opinions, difference of opinion, call me a noob if you wish. I will disprove you on the next video if you try to call me a noob anyway. And tell me how I'm a noob and what you would have done different, and then I could shoot you down and show you why that's wrong. Uh, because it's always live. No builds work. No builds will ever work. And hindsight will always be 2020, no matter how you look at it. Oh, you, you made... You made fire? Well, I would have just brought water, and it's like, well, in the game, you would have never fucking known that. <laughs> so remember that. Anyways, uh, that's it. Have a good one. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit that sub button. Tell your friends. Learn the truth about this game. Stop following these pro scrubs. And, you know, because they're pro scrubs, and all they do is play for 20 hours a day, and they appear to be great, when all it is is they just they are faster than you are. They're not smarter than you are. They're not better than you are. They just know more because they play so freaking much. Anyways, <clears throat> that's it. Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.